Okay, this is part two of the 2.8 series. Um, in this one, we're going to talk about making characters in WoW Model Viewer, which is basically the same as in my 2.79 series, but I don't want to make people go back to watch that. And I'm too lazy to cut it out and add it to this one, so we're just going to redo it. Um, plus, things have changed a little bit on that exporting animation side, so. In this one, we'll talk about making a character from scratch in Model Viewer, or importing a character, then exporting, and exporting animations in case you want to use them in a pose or an animation or whatever. And then we'll talk about the object exporter exporting the map tiles and the buildings. So we'll go with WoW Model Viewer first. Um, if you want to import a character, you would just go to Character, Import Armory Character, and for mine, you just go to the World of Warcraft website and search it here, find it that way. I'm going to copy this link and then with Control-C and then over here you can just highlight that, press Control-V and it'll paste it in. You gotta wait a few seconds. Press OK, they just want to say they found transmog. So yeah, okay, this is our basic model. Now, uh, you can change clothes if you want to over here, or change faces over here, the skin. Whatever you want to do, that's your business. Um, for this tutorial, she doesn't have shoulders or a helmet or anything, so I'm probably going to make a character that has those things, just so I can show you how to add them in Blender to your rig. Um, but the main thing is, <laughs> we'll have to talk about fixing these feet. Um, but I'm going to try and go with a robe so we can talk about cloth simulation later as well. So to make a character from scratch, just go up here to the plus sign beside character and click it and then you have this whole list of people you can make. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, let's go. I don't want to do Void Elf. That was in 2.79. We can do something else now. Um, everything's trash, so let's go human and be boring. Let's just be a boring human. I play humans, so I can say that. Change your skin over here. Change your face. Change your hairstyle. Change your hair color. Change your piercings. Um, if you, we'll talk about that in a second. Never mind. Put on a helmet, maybe, if you want a helmet. Put on some shoulders if you want some shoulders. You're gonna look so bad, lady. Chest. We're just going to go with a random robe. Maybe something that matches would be nice. But I don't think anything's going to match that. It just doesn't look good. Let's go here. It looks terrible. And then boots. Just any. It doesn't matter. And then why don't we be fancy and add a weapon. Why not a pickaxe? Okay. So you can see the legs poking through the rope, but I want to show you cloth simulation later, so I'm just going to leave those. But uh, we do want to fix the feet, though. So we're going to go up to here to view, show model control, scroll down to feet, double click the green one, and then double click the one under it to turn it green. And then you have normal boots. So we want to export this lovely lady as uh, an FBX but we want to pick let's pick a um, animation it can be something freaking ridiculous <laughs> oh that's gonna hurt let's go with that it's pretty fancy okay so we're gonna 
export model FBX. I'm going to make a new folder for my models. I don't know what to name her, so we're just going to call her human. Okay, unselect all. So we know that this animation is 3.13, so we're going to scroll down to 3.13. Okay. And then we want to also export the OBJ just so we can get the textures, so we can wave through them. And there we go. Okay. So that's how you do that. Now we're going to flip over to Object Exporter. Now the first time you open this is going to ask, ask you where you want to save your files and stuff. It'll pop up like this, I think. Just click Browse, pick a spot, blah, 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 and then click Confirm Settings. It'll close, but it'll automatically reopen. So if we want buildings, that's WMOs. You can uncheck M2s. Let's get something random. No, I'll just go with this one. Okay, and then export object model. And then flip over here to the maps. Oh, sorry, it's still exporting. Okay. Okay. We're over on the maps tile. So this is where you would get map tiles or whatever you want. It's kind of hard to flip through because there's no view map option. But if you go to the website, wow.tools, you can go to maps, find the map you want, um, say Calendar. And then just double click a spot and it'll tell you what that tile is, 3846. And then you can just go over here, 3846. Um, we're just going to go with, what have we got? <laughs> sure, let's go with this random tile. Do not leave this on 256. You'll regret it. I don't know why it's the default. You can go 16K. That'll give you higher quality textures. Usually you can get away with 8K. So it doesn't really matter. Whichever. And then this is houses. This is small stuff like trees, fences, um, barrels. <laughs> and then... Foliage is grass. It tells you right there. You don't need me. I don't know why I'm telling you this. And then export map tile. Okay. And I didn't write this down in the outline as doing the importing bits. But I'm going to go ahead and do that in this tutorial because I think this is fairly short. So I'm going to close this stuff here. And then we'll open 2.8. And the first thing we'll do is import the characters so we can talk about that. No, that's in the next part. The first thing we'll do is import the house, which will be file, import, WMO. And then we need to find the name of it. I don't even remember what I exported. I'm guessing it's the Cold Tierra's house. Find right, so right here and then import. Imported. This is the house you chose. If you hide that, you will see that it imports every variation of this house. Every decoration, 
variation of this house. So there's tons of stuff. So usually you wouldn't bother to import this as a WMO. Honestly, I would just uh, <laughs> I would just import it as a wavefront object and decorate it yourself. But I was showing you how to do it anyway. So now we're going to import the map tile. Now you've got these lines. Well, it's 2.8. It has to compile the shaders, so you gotta wait for that to finish. Okay, so you got the lines. Just press period on the number pad. And this is what I exported. So, the thing about objects from WoW is that they have auto smooth on, and generally you need that off because it'll look really weird. Um, I don't know if it does in 2.8, but sometimes it's, it's a good idea to turn it off. If it's really bad, sometimes it'll look really bad. So in order to make that faster, a lovely person from our Discord made us a script that you can find in the add-on links channel under help. You go to pinned if you need to. And oh and go down as the first, the last one. So just jump to it. And the one we want is tile import clean. Just click download. Open with notepad. And it gives you the script. So we're gonna go over here and change that from shader editor to Python console. I'm going to copy what's in this script, highlight it, control C, go down here, select that, and then control V to paste it. It might take a little bit, and then auto smooth should be turned off on everything. You can see right here. And I think it's supposed to remove doubles too, but for some reason it doesn't for me, I don't think. Unless it randomly changed. Oh, no, it doesn't. But the thing is, uh, I think that for me, I have to change this to, um, I have to change the thing to inches down here under units. I think it's stop. Now we'll change this to imperial and then one of these, this one, inches. And then it works for me, I think. Oops. No, it still doesn't, but that's okay. Okay, so if you, if you need to do it yourself, just select the object and then tab for edit mode and nothing selected because they're black press A to select it and then if you're using my hotkeys you can do control shift X and as you can see down here remove the vertices select everything and then merge vertices by distance and then it'll tell you down here you can of course raise the distance here but don't do it too much it'll look weird and then you'll need to do that for every object if it has any sharp lines in it and then that's basically that for the maps and the buildings